Since 2010, Confiance has been helping small and medium-sized businesses digitally transform by taking advantage of Odoo's open source ERP solution. In this demo series, we're going to explore an out-of-the-box Odoo 16 solution for a local barbershop. Let's explore our story a little further. We're a local barbershop specializing in men's cuts and shaves. We sell branded products, both in our shop, wholesale to individual barbers or stylists, and we'd like to start selling online. We're going to need a fresh and modern looking website to do this. We're also looking for a better way to manage our inventory and forecast stocking needs. We'd like to have a modular solution that's capable of scaling to meet our business needs as we grow. The modules we're going to need from Odoo include sales, point of sales, inventory, accounting, purchase, website, as well as contacts. On today's agenda, we're going to be installing these modules, reviewing the accounting module settings, so we'll set up accounting periods, bank accounts, taxes, and chart of accounts. Then we'll move to the contact module where we'll update our company contact form and configure our vendor contact form. Then we'll discuss what to expect next in our demo series. We'll get started by installing our modules. We'll do this by going to the apps module. And here we have all of the apps that are available to us in Odoo. I'm gonna change the viewing format from Kanban to list view. And we're gonna go ahead and select the modules that we need to install. Sales, website, inventory, accounting, purchase, point of sale, and we have one more we need to install contacts so let's scroll down to see where that is all right here it is we'll go ahead and select that so we've got all of these selected we're going to go ahead and install them all at once and we'll do that by clicking the install button up here in the top left corner And perfect. Now you can see that the status of these modules have changed. The color changed from blue to green, indicating that the module was installed. You'll also note that a few were installed automatically based upon another module that was installed, such as invoicing, it installs with accounting. So we'll go back out to our dashboard and refresh our screen. So here we can see all of our modules have now been installed. Now we're ready to review our accounting module settings. To get started with that, we'll want to ensure that everything is ready to go for us in our accounting module. To begin, we're going to ensure that the chart of accounts has been installed accurately. We'll go to apps. Now, the chart of accounts, it's automatically installed when you create a database and it'll be based upon your location. Ours will automatically be loaded with the US chart of accounts. So we can type that in here and just ensure that we see that it has been installed. All right, we'll go back out to our dashboard, and now we're ready to drill down into our accounting module. When we open up our accounting module, we're going to see all of our journals here below. And then above, we have some prompts for how to get started. We'll start by going into our accounting periods where we can set the fiscal year and tax periods. We'll click the configure button, and we're going to specify the opening date for January 1, and we'll leave the fiscal year end for December 31st. Then over on the right side, we have our tax return periodicity. We're going to change that to quarterly, and then we'll apply our changes. Next, we have the opportunity to set up with our bank accounts or add bank accounts that we have. Um, we'll click into that. And you'll see you have the ability to check United States or worldwide. We're obviously in the United States, so we have different banking institutions that are available to us. We could set that up here. Um, for demo purposes, we're going to leave this. Next, we're going to look at our taxes. So here, this is where our default taxes for sales and purchase transactions will be. Odoo automatically populates this with a 15% tax rate. We're going to leave it for the time being since this is a demo. Um, Odoo does, however, have built-in integrations with both TaxCloud as well as AvaTax, which are able to calculate the sales tax in real time based on the specific state and local rates. This is a great time saver as the integration will do the calculations automatically automatically based on the customer addresses. We'll go back out to our accounting dashboard 
And the last thing we're going to do is review the chart of accounts. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this was already pre-configured and installed based on our location. So if I want to change anything here, I'm able to do that still. But after a quick review, this looks good to me and I'm ready to go ahead and get started. So we'll go back to our dashboard and we'll finish up today with our contacts configuration, both updating our contact form for the company as well as adding a vendor contact. We'll do that in our contacts module. When we open this, we can see that we only have two contacts currently, administrator as well as uh, my company. This is the one that we're going to go ahead and update today. We'll change the name as well as add our address and phone number here. We'll get that loaded. Okay, then we're going to update our logo. Okay, looks great. Um, and that looks great here. I think we're going to go ahead and leave it for now. Um, that completes our purposes for today. So we're going to go back out to our contacts module. And now we can see that it's been updated with the barbershop's information and logo. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and create our contact for our vendor. So we'll click the create button. We'll start by noting that this is a company level contact and we'll add their information. So private label hair care, we're going to get their address information added as well as their phone number. And then what we'll also want to do is add an additional contact level, um, an individual of the account manager, Sam Stevens at the company. So we'll get his information added along with the phone number and we'll save that. And this will be a parent child relationship where Sam's contact information will be stacked underneath um, private label hair care. On the sales and purchase tab, here to the left, we see the sales information. That's really for customers, but this is our vendor. So we're going to set up um, the purchase terms over here. Uh, payment terms, payment method could be added here. So if you had ACH payments, you could specify that here. Under accounting, we can add the bank account information for the vendor if we wanted to do so. Um, and then you have the accounting entries as to as far as which journals it will be going into. Then we have um, over here, the next tab is internal notes. Now this is where we can specify anything internally. Um, our vendors let us know that they only ship once a week on a Tuesday, so we want to have that in here for our records. I can add that there. Um, when we look at warnings or blocking messages, if I want them to appear on a sales order, that would appear here. It doesn't apply to our vendor, but if it were a customer contact form, I could have added warnings to our salespeople before they proceed, or I could set up a blocking message um, that could actually block the workflow from continuing. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we're going to go back to our contacts. And we can see now that we have private label hair care, the parent form. And then underneath, we have Sam Stevens, who is associated. And that concludes our time for today. In our next video, we will be exploring the inventory module configurations warehouse settings, and locations. If you want to know more about Odoo and how Confions can help you digitally transform your business, contact us at sales at confionsit.com or call 704-214-4622, extension 403.